I couldn't help but notice your pain. My pain? It runs deep. Share it with me. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Her historical immersion project. We are back as Landgrave Rodbot of Bourgois. We are Bon Hopsburg. We are right now um, a little stronger than we were in the beginning. We uh, hold two uh, counties now. Um, I don't know if it's Thurgois, Thurgo, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we hold these two. Um, this one actually is pretty cool because um, we're kind of defended by this uh, lake. Because I kind of tried it out by uh, raising these levees and to see if we would be able to go right through. Because, you know, sometimes they don't have it like that in the vanilla. Where you shouldn't be able to go through a certain area, but you can. And then some places you can't go through that you should. <laughs> So it's just, it's kind of like ass backwards sometimes, but this Lake Constance kind of uh, shields us from Wald Waldberg. Waldberg. So when we do go to war against this guy, who is uh, you know, the other, well, it doesn't look like he's that strong, but he has two counties here. Um, if we were to take his men out here, which both of these counties touch his. This guy, his guys from here are going to have to either go uh, through Montfort or go through uh, Nullenburg to get just the Dorgua. So they have to go, or Thorgo, however you say it, to uh, get to this one to reinforce. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do have the guy, I really thought about what I was going to do, having this guy either push claim on this or one of the others. Now that we border our other uh, duchy counties... Uh, we can declare war on them, ducal conquests, just by having enough piety and money. Um, so, I'm still going to go to claim on this guy. Reason being, if I can get claim on this, I might take these other guys out with the ducal thing. Because if I get a claim on this, and then maybe move him over to here, and be able to take both of his counties at once. Um, this one's not in ours, but it would just be a little added, you know extra to it um we i really want to push this claim but right now i don't feel comfortable enough doing it like in hip is you know it seems for some reason the battles are like the true like you can have numerical advantage but if you don't have like a really big numerical advantage like where you have 2,000 men against 800 like nothing's really guaranteed especially when you're in like a mountain area or something this is only forest but even forest you get a little bit of a uh a bonus now this guy has made himself a uh, uh, duke another fancy way of saying duke but uh he had all these counties to begin with he just wasn't a duke so I guess he saved up his money and became a duke so doesn't make him any stronger really um he already had all that to begin with now I think after we take like one or two more of these, we'll pretty much be the same strength as him. All we need is one more county to uh, have the 51% that we need to get uh, to make this. Right now we have 40, so if we get one more, we're good. Because that's five counties. As long as you have uh, the majority, you can make it. And then after that, I think we can just de jure the other ones without having to pay uh, the piety and money, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see. There's a lot of stuff from HIP that I can totally forgot about. I haven't played it in so long. So, it's pretty neat. A lot of stuff comes up little by little. And I get, you know, reestablished in the in the mod. I do love some of the graphical stuff. Like, it's kind of hard to see because a horse is in the way. But, like, if you see, um... Where is it at? See, like, here, like, how it's sieged. It's actually got, like, embers going up into the sky. It's pretty neat. You see, like, the little uh, glowing pieces there that look like embers. Uh, like, the town's burning over here, too. You kind of see it. The horses are kind of blocking it. But you see, like, the embers rising up. It's pretty cool. And you can see more of the rivers and stuff like that. Uh, I do like how Venice, you can just roll into Venice. Venice shouldn't be only reachable by sea. Uh, it's a lagoon. It's not like it's an island. So, I like how they have that. Um, I don't know, though. It looks like it might be blocked, in a way, because it has this here. But, I don't know. It might just be, a, um, like, a border thing like that is. But, I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever have that opportunity. But, I guess we'll see somebody else do it. But, uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and unpause here in a second. I'm gonna make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. He's uh going for that claim. I'm really mad that I had him at that one guy's thing because I could have gotten that claim uh when we started the war last time with this guy, but I forgot to move him. Hopefully he'll get it again. He really turned himself into a good chancellor because when he first started, he was a great eminence, but I think he only had a uh, novice diplomat. He didn't have master. Now he's up to master with 25 diplomas. He did that all on his own. Uh, and we also have respected commander now, so we got a little extra marshal from that. It actually has four tiers, so I guess you can get all... I don't know what the highest one is. We're only a trained fighter, but our heir is a skilled fighter, uh, so he could probably do that i think our his air is still sickly uh hopefully he'll get through it um he hasn't been alive that long yet if he get past the first year it would be it'll look a little better uh, i was looking at uh potential betrothals for him ones that are like younger i was looking for geniuses just to try to get the uh you know to have them have a kid that's genius i think after that uh after this generation we'll be more apt to have other Habsburg cousins and stuff that we can uh, get the inbreeding going with. But uh, I was looking at this girl here. She is uh, homely. It's not as bad as being ugly. You don't get a uh, negative in diplomacy. It's just minus 10 attraction. But she's burly and genius. And she's the same age as him. Uh, she actually is the daughter of a Jarl up in uh, part of England. But uh, he has already amount of money. He has boats. So we would be able to betroth him to her. I think I might wait a little bit just to see if something else comes about or if uh, we get a Habsburg. Uh, if he gets a Habsburg cousin, that might be pretty good. Um, so we're going to put special interest on her. She probably won't get betrothed anytime soon, so I don't think we'll have to worry about anything. Uh, our society thing, we're not really making too much uh, devotion, so it's going to be a very long time before we rank up. If we even get that far. Um, everything else in the intrigue we're, we're good with right now. Um, I probably could go on a hunt later. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not probably going to get a mission for a little bit. Because I had, uh, um, what you call it, uh, did not do the other one. Declined it because it was to build a church. We'll never have that much money to build a church. Not right now, anyways. Um, my council, I think about faction-wise, I think I might... Uh, join one of the factions now down here we have uh, a couple of the dukes are in the prosperity one which uh strives for wealth and healthy economy which i think would be a little where we would be um not so much on the glory part and then you have the court faction and tradition faction so i'm thinking about maybe joining the prosperity faction there's more people in the court one but that doesn't really matter so, we'll go ahead and join uh, the Prosperity Faction, if we can. Can I get in there? Thank you. <laughs> so, now we're part of that faction. Um, it's a little different than the vanilla, like you're not trying to get something and then like uh, press a claim or some shit. We do have an, a, enough uh, retinue cat to uh, get some troops. We have to wait until we get some money. They're a lot more expensive in this mod. Uh, we can get the uh, a knight retinue here. Where we get more heavies than lights on. We'd like to get at least, you know, one or two of those. We're only going to be able to get one first. But when we get enough money and we get our duchy made, then we will start working on that. It's always good to have those retinue troops. Um, I don't know why every time I start, it, like, struggles to get through the first couple days. I'm hoping it's just that. Because I'm unpaused right now. <laughs> it's just not moving. And I hope this doesn't become a problem. Last time was fine. It's just weird. It's like the first couple of days it struggles. And then it starts to move. Maybe I should, uh... Let me put it down one for right now. Because we were on four. This is going to be absurd if I had to do this. I think if I zoom out a little bit, it actually does a little better. But, I really don't want to be stuck on this the whole time. Like, having it glitching all around. It, it, it starts to bug me. Uh, Duke Rustico, <laughs> Rustuco has uh, accepted the terms of peace by Emperor Heinrich the Monster. I don't know why he's called the Monster now, but... 
I guess he did something. Yeah, that guy tried to revolt, so he's he's canned. He's probably gonna die, but who knows? Uh, Count Heinrich of Seine accepted Duke Frederick of Lorraine's. Oh, he had yeah, that's right. He had a rebellion himself. He actually pulled it off. I think the guy had more men than him at, the, at first. Uh, we can get the alliance with Barcelona, but we're not gonna do it right now because they're in a bad way. Um, he's probably going to lose. I mean, he's not going to lose any land or anything. He's just probably going to give up a good chunk of money. Uh, we're getting close again to 100, so we'll be good to be able to do another, uh, Duke of War. And then all we'll have to do then is save up our money. An invitation has arrived from Vaud Giovanni of Pisa, calling all members of our faction to assemble at Pisa. This would be also be... Time to consider whether to call a vote for Vogue Giovanni's impeachment as faction leader. Let's just go with the meeting. Uh, yeah. We just started. We just joined the faction. We don't want to come in there and start demanding shit right away. Uh-oh. Another war. Let's see. What is this one for? Re another revolt. See, people don't seem to like him too much. I mean, he's got a lot of positive people. I don't know where these revolts are coming from. Unless he's trying to revoke these guys. Oh, it's Popo. Hmm. I don't know if he tried to revoke his shit or what, but I guess we'll find out. Now, I'm going to ask him if he wants me to join again, just to keep jumping up. I want to see if he'll put me on the goddamn council. We're getting a little old, so he probably doesn't want somebody my age on the council. We'll ask him. Just try to get some extra opinion out of him. We did lose 10 for taking back our ward, but... Um, I think he still... He did have one of our other ones, but I, th I don't know what happened. If we if he still has them or not. I can't remember whose kid it was. It wasn't him. That's uh my other son. And then him, he's not even of age. I think it might have been my brother. No, he doesn't even have a kid. I don't know who it was. Uh, as faction members gathered in Pisa, it immediately became clear that the meeting would not be able to continue until the issue of Giovanni's leadership was resolved. A vote of no confidence has been put before all those present. Uh, so, uh, how's my support? I don't know. What is the... I wish you could tell who, like, uh, who supports him and who doesn't. Now we got Duke of Corinthia here, uh, Brandenburg, Baden, Savoy, and then a bunch of other counts. And then we have uh, like the Doge, pretty much of uh, Ancona. Is he really a dick or something? Um, I guess he's kind of shit. So I guess we'll go with it. If somebody brought up the vote, then somebody doesn't want him there. <laughs> Giovanni has been removed as leader of the faction after being defeated in a vote of no confidence. The faction meeting has been disbanded and will resume when a new leader calls for the next one. So, who did you just automatically go? Oh, we're in firm now. Man, I was I was dreading that was gonna happen. Where the hell are we at? Oh, since we're in firm, I don't think we can join. Huh. It like took us out of it. Let me see. Can I go back in? <laughs> Prosperity faction. Uh, maybe because I don't know why it took us off. Now we can't pick certain things. We can't do any martial ones. Um, I think we go with the family one just to keep the health. Or theology might. This theology, it doesn't give us any piety right off the bat, I don't think. So I guess we'll just, uh, stick with that one. I have a feeling they're gonna give me an, uh, a thing to pick theology, watch. As soon as I don't pick it. And they won't give it to you while you have it, so there's no point. I gladly accept your offer of assistance, nice. So he really likes us now. I mean, is it gonna help us any right now? Um, I really wanna get this... 100, but I'm like nervous to make it go any faster because it's just gonna start throwing up on itself. Let me see. Alright, it's going smooth right now. I think while we're at war, maybe. Um. Is he done? No. He will give us the alliance, but right now he has. <laughs> he got beat up bad. Yeah, he's gonna lose. Um. 
Yeah. I'll just leave it alone for now. I guess I'll just take it off. No point in making it, uh, the chance of it going, um, negative. Ebhart has shown time and again that he wishes to be my friend. After so many shows of courteous behavior, I found myself increasingly obligated to return the favor. So, he's just a count of number. Where is that? Uh, oops, I always forget the, the one, the land things are over there instead of the dynasty. He's right on our border. We actually could do one just conquer, but I'm going to do that. Um, I don't think he has, his place has one either, a uh, duchy. Or a duchy holder. So tech is these three next to ours. We could start trying to mop them up. Um, Monfort is part of ours. What about Allsburg? Probably doesn't have. Yeah, theirs is next to us too. And he has all of No, he doesn't. Who has these? Uh, he has one of them. So that's good to know. Alright. Hopefully that, that works out. We get this claim and that. I can move him over there and maybe get that one. Uh, you showing time and again? Yeah, we already know this. All right, we're very close to 100 again. The other war should be fine because uh, they're really low in men power. That's why I'm waiting to get this guy. Chur is probably the best one out of them when it comes to the worth of the province. It has two, uh, what you call it, churches and one city and a barony. Uh, Gerard of Lorrainian Revolt. So, he has, wow, way more men. He took almost a whole, that's crazy. He's got that many more men. And look how much this guy is over top of. I don't understand how that shit happens. Alright, we're pretty close to, uh, 100 mark. I'm thinking about maybe going for Chur. I'm really... Uh, worried though because of me not playing this mod for a while is there anything gonna happen for going after uh, somebody in the church all right um Duke Franz the unready except the King Henri's peace offer so they won so now he's a tributary of France all right while Manfredo earlier seemed to have no intention of surrendering any of his vassals to Count Manfredo. Suddenly he cha changed his mind and granted him lordship over Bishop Federico of Bergamo. Could this have something to do with Manfredo's recent unexplained absence from Bergaria? No one appears to know for certain. So what does this have to do with anything? Is he part of the, uh... No, he's not part of... I don't know what that has to do with anything. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, we're getting there. After this month, we'll be good. Of course, he's gonna call us in. But we have our own things to worry about. <laughs> now, if we get that county, or ever men say, I don't even know if we'd be any help towards him. Let me see. Yeah, he doesn't have any men whatsoever <laughs> compared to that guy. But we'll say we'll help. It sucks that I really do like to help out your allies, but I know as soon as we take our men away, we're going to get attacked by somebody else in our duchy. Alright, so, it's either Chur or Monfort. What the hell? Hold on a second. Ah, uh, he's a regent. He's in hiding for some reason. I want to go out to Chur, but I'm, like, nervous that he's going to, um... Something's going to happen because of him being in the church. But, we'll just do it anyways. Gains the parish bishopric of Chi. Alright. Everybody's for it, but of course the bishop isn't. He doesn't want it at all. He think, I guess he thinks they're too weak. Hmm. Chur is in the mountain, though. So is this one. So this doesn't really matter. You know what? We'll leave uh, Chur for the last one, I guess. And let's take Monfort. Alright. So we will gain the county of Montford. We have to get more gold this time. Oh, damn. 
I hope he doesn't call realm peace, man. I really don't. We're not going to call anybody in. We shouldn't need to. Alright. Everybody go this way. And you guys put together. I'll probably try to go right for them. But. Should be alright. Ryan her. And. Damn, he's infirm. Ugh. Doesn't matter. We don't have any goddamn, uh. What you call it, anyways. We don't have any, uh. What the hell am I gonna say? We don't have any our com commanders, so. I have to lead. <laughs> I don't wanna leave it with, uh, just the two, so you're just gonna have to take your infirm ass onto the battlefield. <laughs> Should be okay, I mean. It looks like he's taking all. No, he's just sitting there. Uh, I received a letter from Pope Benedict and it was a very quick and concise message inquiring about my good health. It would have comment about the possibility of the two of us keeping more in contact with each other. Um, right back to Pope Benedict just telling him you agree with the sentiment and appreciate the thoughtful letter. Yeah, why is he trying to be friends with us? He really loves us. I don't know why. Alright. Let's go get him before he gets out of here. August 4th. Oh, we'll get there in time. Thing is, he's gonna have a, a decent, uh, what you call it? Popo is done. He's gonna have a decent, uh, mountain terrain advantage, but we double in men. So, I think we'll be okay. He only has the one guy leading. None of our, uh, flanks fell, which was good. Alright. That was all 37%, so that's good. And he doesn't have enough to siege either one of these. So we're good to go. We can just sit here and siege this down. And then we need like another 100 gold to uh, make the duchy. So basically we're just saving on gold. Alright, Peasant Revolt in France. He should be okay. I'll probably call us in. Uh, Duke Bratislav of Bohemia has created the... Uh, Magri Magribi I don't know how to say it. Of Moravia. It's basically the Duchy of Moravia. <laughs> I think like the certain culture uh gives the Duchy a different name, like um what's the one? There's a... Uh, what's the one in the French one? The Marquis or whatever. I could have swore I seen one of them that said that. I don't know. Alright, <laughs> I received a letter from my fellow member of the Benedictine Order, Bishop Delmo. Dear brother Radbot, will you, as a Christian scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry, or the attempt of it. Reading through the attached documents, there were multiple verses, all in honor of God. I usually just pick either one, I don't tell them it's frivolous. Uh, enjoy the metaphors, yeah. We, uh, you get the thing and it just tells you... You know, if you want to pay 55 gold, you can get some extra diplomacy. But yeah. I was beginning to think Bishop Delmo took offense to my comments, but today I've received a new draft of his work. I'm surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out. I implore you, brother, bear with me. Bear with me. It is not finished. So, we will ensure him that we will not do anything with his work. <laughs> Monfort has fallen before me, and my troops have collected every one found within. I must now decide the fates of the unfortunate. So, this is his daughter. This is his heir. His heir is somewhere up there. Ah, uh, this is the dude ship I think we took. Yeah, it is. How the hell is he heir? Unless his wife... Hold on. That guy is his heir. What is the uh, thing made up as uh, Agnotic Gavilcon? So, his parent is that guy. I wonder if they have the same grandparent or something. Because I don't know how he would be his heir. I'm glad I took that one, then, instead of the uh, Chur. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to, uh, we're not going to kill him. <laughs> Take everyone we found inside as prisoner. At least we can make uh make some money maybe off him. Let me see, is his daughter he got enough money to bail her out? Nope. Of course he doesn't. He has no money. <laughs> Alright, we're still a little bit away. We have to take the other uh holding. At least. I like how it has it set up here. 
the uh, Siege. I like it's way better than the Vanilla Soto. Uh, I am flattered that you think the Benedictine Order could benefit from my work. Bishop Delmo writes in his letter, Thank you for your support, brother. He continues, Before assuring me his finishing touches, he intends to see to before the final version of the manuscript will enter the library. I am honored to be surrounded by minds such as Delmo. Alright. There we go, 100%. Siege of Bergens has ended, and my soldiers have found an enemy commander. They drag him before me and ask my orders. <laughs> uh, this guy will end up being our, what you call it, but he has enough money to be bailed out. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to let him bail out, and then we will call an end to this. It's gonna piss off the relations a little, but oh no, he died. Son of a bitch. Man, I mean, other than being delicate, he wasn't bad. Oh well, try again. All right, my other son though keeps having kids. He's got a left-handed one. This one's just a kid. Um, Gurg. I guess that's fun. Alright. We'll let that guy bail out and then we'll call off the war. There. He still has the same opinion that he did pretty much. Alright. We'll save the other holding from being completely wiped out and then we'll just take it from here. Alright, so we had usurped Montford. We can go ahead and drop our men. Now we can create the duchy. We just need another. Like 50 gold, 55 gold, and we can do that. Alright, we increased our thing, so now we're going to go ahead and do uh, become a duke, because that's going to be the next thing that we could possibly do. Uh, let me see something. Um, gain independence? No. <laughs> we're not even close to the prestige. Uh, exalted amongst men. Or, oh shit, forgot to pick it. Alright, we want to become a duke. So, that'll be next. We just need a little bit more money. It's not that much. Especially if we're not spending it. I mean, we don't make much a month, though. This just sucks. How's our manpower looking? And we're getting closer and closer to this, dude. I mean, he could have another 200 men, max. Alright, Henry won. He's staying strong. I'm surprised, uh... The Empire hasn't tried to take him out, or at least go to war over something. I don't know, does he have, um, any land from the Empire? Let me see, um, the your... Actually, the Empire has some of his land, but he couldn't really take them on right now. Honestly, and then, he actually has one piece of... Of the, I don't know if that's actually in the Empire's border. Let me see. Yeah. They both have a uh, county of each other's. The short land. So, I can see one of them pulling the, pl pulling the plug. I think he would do it over France. Unless France is completely dumb. Because he has half the manpower. Alright, so he's got a uh, Croatian uh, du jour war for Corcula. How many men's this guy got? Oh, not many. Alright, whatever. We just keep getting pulled in these wars. It's so funny because none of them will join us in an attacking war, but they all ask us. Ron Munt <laughs> claims that he would be a better marshal than Bishop Ernest, and petitions that he should be given the title of marshal. He would be. But the thing is, is that you don't hold land. <laughs> and we need taxes from the bishop. Uh, here we hear our patients. Yeah, give Ernest a chance. I think that's what we'll do. Um, you know what? No. We'll tell him. Yeah, we're gonna refuse it. Do not bring such position. What's the difference between the two? Yeah, you're just not gonna like it. That's fine. You're a commander. How dare you ask for positions on the council. I think as soon as we get the money, we'll do this. And then maybe we'll be looked at a little better by our emperor. I wonder why, like, we're, we're landgrave over two and then count over one. Is it, or do they have two different cultures in here? 
No, they're they're all Swavian. That's weird. It's so funny that it calls it the Duchy of Swabia, but it's really the kingdom. <laughs> now, we would need a lot more of that. We don't even have 20%. And we would have to have, uh... There's a bunch of duchies in this. They got Duchy of Alsace, which is only two uh, counties. And Baden, which is three. That one's three. I think ours is the biggest. Ours has five. And then you have uh, Tech, who has three. That's a lot of duchies in that little kingdom. Uh, Count of Hart sent me a very detailed letter dealing with strategic warfare, taking examples from his own studies and personal experiences in the field. I'm impressed. <laughs> I don't know why so many people are trying to swoon him. I want to be able to make this duchy before he dies. And being infirm is really bothering me because <laughs> I think he's going to croak at any time. We didn't get any more of a commander thing but it's whatever we didn't get to have any kids which kind of sucks I guess I would like to have another daughter but my heir hasn't gotten his wife pregnant yet again but my other son has had two sons so we're good on the inheritance tip we just need some some girls where is um oh she's an, almost an adult now do we have the same guy over here yet she's got learning focus her husband's a shit. I think if I get enough land, I might give him some. That way our grandson will inherit something. I mean, he is... Oh, no, hold on. Who is, uh... I think this is the, the uh, house that we came from. If I'm not mistaken. Because we uh, didn't have uh, Habsburg the whole time. I'll look at some other time. Uh, the most curious gift arrived today at court. Pope Benedict sent me a statue of him along with his best witches. Bleh, witches. Wishes. <laughs> That's very impressive. Uh, too bad it's not like a treasury thing. You actually get something out of it. Come on, man. I need the money, so I, I could take a loan, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't. It's the one thing that's like very realistic about this, because like every year, if you don't have the money to pay the loan, you have to pay the interest every year, and we don't even make a hundred gold a year. I mean, we're close to it, but not, not quite. I'm surprised that. Uh, I'm trying to see our. Our, um, realm, our crown authority is really low, hold on, low clergy obligations. So they're trying to uh, change the clergy obligations. See, they have so many more obligations in this too, which is pretty cool. They have ones for coin and ones for levies. I just like how much more detailed it is. Uh, we're not allowed to do too much just because of uh, the way the crown authority is. There's nothing we can really do. Can we change any of these back to ruler? Every they're all opposed to them. Yeah, um, the the council doesn't like me enough. All right, so we have enough now, I think. Yeah, 194 gold. My daughter has dysentery, so that means she's probably dead. <laughs> all right, so we can go ahead and do this now. Let's go ahead and make this so then. We have a oh, we have a claim on Poland through our brother's wife. Thing is, is they don't have any kids, so it's kind of pointless, and we can't do it anyways because he's our ally. But every motherfucker will help us now. I guess because it's such a big uh, opponent to us. It's how some of those base it all. I don't know if maybe they're like glory hounds or what. So let's go ahead and make this. We'll get some prestige out of it. We don't have any gold now, but <laughs> we are now become Duke. So we are Duke Rodbot. So now our son, our heir will get that. And then he will also get that. And that. He should get Monfort, yeah. Our other son will get the other one. It's kind of good we only had two sons. So it doesn't take too much from us. 
So there we go. We're going to end on that note. Um, see, now we can press these claims on the other uh, people. Let me see what I have to pay for it. Nope. I don't have to pay anything. He just becomes our vassal, which I'd rather have the Prince Bishop uh, of anybody as our vassal, because then we'll get some better taxes out of him, as long as he likes us more than the Pope. And the Pope's kind of shit right now, and he's young. So it looks like we might have this same Pope for a while, so that'll be more advantageous for us. This guy, I really would love to have the claims on his, but if we don't, we don't. We got the, the dukedom now, so we don't have to really worry. So, until next time, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.